Hi. How are you? Yes. Hello, Mr. President. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I understand they want a couple of pictures uh, sort in front of the desk and then see That's, see that's fine. That's perfect. You can just chat. Oh, all right. All right. I understand. I understand you were called Nina. Neo is, is indeed. Well, I want to tell you, for years, I had a Nina in my life. I guess uh, we were partners in a horse breeding operation, a ranch. And uh, he lived at the ranch with his wife and son, and, and uh, we partnered it out that way. But he had been, uh, his name Pepe, his name was Nino Pepitone. Well, Nino was a nickname. Yeah. And uh, he had been a captain in the Royal Italian Cavalry. And uh, he could still shout, I was in the ring riding, he could still shout, heel down! <laughs> Stronger than anyone I've ever heard. <laughs> He's a great rider. Also, I was going to get that, that I understand also that that is an affirmation of, of your uh, one sign that you're in your state. The panel, the panel that, that I was on uh, had come out the same way. That's right. Well, Thank you very much. Well, excuse me, Judge. Uh, can you just kind of put your one leg down? Yeah, that's, that's better. Thank you. I guess I don't know the Oval <laughs> Office decorum. <laughs> <laughs> no decorum. <laughs> I think George Washington used to be strong about that, not, not crossing the legs. I'm not sure. Oh. One of those colonials, anyway. Well, the only decorum in here is dictated by the. By the canvas, yes. It took them a long time to get around to telling me that that eagle over there, which used to be over here on the table in the corner, was coming out of the pool his head. <laughs> was <laughs> We moved the furniture. Yes. Well, how did you enjoy the festivities? And, I mean, did you really enjoy it? Did well, sure yes. It like it could have yes. been fun. It was a pretty hectic pace and all, but uh, it was such a, such a feeling, such an energy. Police told us that. You might have thought of New York as a place where you'd get in a fight just looking at someone. But they said that all those jammed crowds and everything, there's a, a great friendliness and good humor among them. But there were no incidents. There was unpleasantness. Didn't hear of any. And they had been expecting uh, some terrorism. Yeah. None of that happened. It was something to take the helicopter down as we had to every time we went down or something. And then go over that fleet of ships all the way from Little Rubber Dam down up to the mm -hmm. most palatial yachts and, and uh, military vessels, naval vessels, and all. But it, they were so thick that at night mm -hmm. it was dark, and you take the helicopter and start back up the river. And all the thanks. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Well. You really did a grand job up in New York. Well, thank you. You know, that did more than a spy pit to the most anything I've seen in a long time. That was a very exciting time. Well, this is Duke Short. Duke Short was president. Uh, no, I, Duke Short, very nice to see you. He's a man who, who uh, investigates all the judges. <laughs> Do all your judges. Take care. <laughs> <He's got laughs> right. Tell him how many we have paid and get to. Totally? Uh, there's 288, I think, at the present 288. time. 288. Hmm. Well, oh, the one's been uh, stopped and committed, and one is on the floor now. We hope yeah. to get him. You might just for the gun control legislation. Oh, yeah. Thank Law enforcement you. people yes. wanted that, and I sponsored it, and yes. I think it's altogether worthy and appropriate. Well, it is now signed into law. Well, good. That would make them thank you, sir. And that would make them very happy too. Yes, sir. Uh, that's my fine. Well, let's go on. Why don't you take me? The reason I asked to meet with you, there may be another Supreme Court vacancy coming up. There's a rumor, and it may be incorrect, but there's a rumor that Justice Powell may consider retiring. And so I have come to recommend someone to you. I have mentioned before that South Carolina is a, I mean, the South is one fourth of the nation in population, and it's one fourth in the area of both. And so we could really have one more than that now, we're still 
just be in proportion to the area of the population. Before I take that up, I want to mention um, Eureka College, where you graduated here. I sent a young man there and I want to see if he could work in my office. He's a Ronald Reagan scholar. I said, if he's a Ronald Reagan scholar, I'll take him without even beating him. <laughs> so I'm going to take him in my office for months. Well, Fred, that's now, right. we don't have to pay him anything, but uh, uh, I, I'm going to pay him $600 extra anyway to help with his expenses. So, for heaven's sakes. His name is uh, Charles Plainsburg. I thought maybe you'd like to, you may want to drop him a note or something. Well, thank you very much.